Hi everyone, welcome back to Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim, part two. Now today I'm gonna to show you five secrets to growing big onions in your garden. And in part two, we're planting the seeds we started indoors, outside in raised beds and containers. These have been growing inside about 10 to 12 weeks. Onions are the first ones you can get started from seed and one of the first ones you can get planted outside in your garden a week or two before your last frost date, if you have a frost date. As long as your soil has thawed, you can work a little bit, you can get your onions planted. So I'm looking forward to getting mine in today. The first secret to growing big onions in your garden is to know your onion zone. Now I explain this in detail when we planted these from seed. I'll pop a link to that in the video description. But basically there's three types of onions you can plant. Long day onions should be planted in the northern U.S. They need longer hours of sunlight. Short day onions can be planted in the southern U.S. They don't need as much sunlight to bulb up. And intermediate day onions can be planted anywhere in the middle. They do well with about 10 to 12 hours of sunlight. So you can definitely plant any type no matter where you live, but those are the ones that will do best in your area. So I've got long day, short day, and intermediate day here in my tray. And we're gonna plant them here today in my raised bed here. This is a Smart Pots little shorty raised bed. It's really great if you're growing on a deck or a patio or just wanna extend your garden space just a little bit. But you can see here, I've got radishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest the radishes and we're gonna pull them out, have them on a salad for lunch and plant our onions. Now some of these radishes aren't quite big enough, but I'm itching to get my onions in. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out anyway and get the onions planted. The radish greens we can eat for a salad. The radishes that are ready we'll definitely enjoy. But it's time to get the onions in. Sometimes you have to make a decision what you're gonna pull out, what you're gonna leave, but it's time to make space for the onions. The second secret of growing big onions in your garden is to give them nice loose soil. Now they are root vegetables, so if your soil is too compacted, they're just gonna hit obstructions and they won't bulb up really well. And when you have your nice loose soil that drains well as it does in the Smart Pots container, you wanna make sure that you're adding good nutrients to the soil. So I'm gonna add in some compost here to my soil there's been other things growing in here for several months now and we got to replenish the nutrients so your onions have plenty of good fertilizer to grow in. So I'm just dab dumping in a couple inches of my own compost that I grew here. I'm going to work it into the top few inches of the soil and you do want to plant your onions in nice moist soil. Not too wet though because if onions get waterlogged and sit in really damp soggy soil they're gonna be really susceptible to rotting and they won't grow and make nice onion bulbs for you. So it's working in the compost. And I'm also gonna add in a sprinkle of just an organic granular fertilizer over the top of the soil. Work that into the first few inches. And since onions have really shallow roots, you don't even have to water them too terribly deeply. But you do want the top few inches of the soil to be nice and moist and to have all the good nutrients worked in. The next secret to growing big onions in your garden is to start early. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, you can start seeds 10 to 12 weeks before your last frost date, but get them out in the garden early before your last frost date if you've got seedlings going. If you don't have seedlings going, no big deal. You can plant bunching onions, which grow a lot quicker. But today I'm gonna to pop out these yellow granix onions from my onion seed collection and super easy to get onions planted. I like to just pop them out of the little seed cells with a spoon here. And onions are the most hardy little seedlings. You can just pull apart the seedlings here. You can see how easily they pull apart. They're pretty much indestructible. And you wanna plant them or transplant them when they're about pencil thickness, maybe smaller than a pencil thickness, is just fine like these are. And what I'm gonna do here is just poke some holes into the soil. You wanna space them a couple inches apart so they have plenty of room to bulb up. And you're gonna plant them sh um, pretty shallow. You're just gonna kinda of stick the roots down in there. Leave the white part of the onion to stick up there. And then kinda of tap the soil around it. And one reason why you wanna get them planted outside super early is because you want more time for the leaf development because the more leaves there are represents a layer of onion. So if you can get the leaf, leaves really developing nicely before the weather gets too hot, 
because you want onions are a cool weather vegetable, then you're going to have a lot more chance of developing really, really nice bulbs. Because once the weather gets warm, and as long as the onions have started bulbing up by that time, then they can withstand warm temperatures a lot easier. And these are the yellow granics, which is a short day onion. These are from my onion seed collection. There's five varieties in there, some short days, some long days, and a couple intermediates, and then some bunching onions, which grow very, very quickly. So definitely not too late to get onions planted. You can start the larger varieties from seed. You might not have quite as big a bulbs that way, but you can definitely still do it. And then if they don't bulb up as big as you'd like, you can eat them like green onions and they add tons of delicious flavor to your food. I pop my yellow granix tag in here so I don't forget what variety I planted. And now I'm gonna plant some of the gold coin onions. Now these are an intermediate day variety, which means they will bulb up in about 10 to 12 hours of sunlight a day, which is what most of us in North America have in the summertime. And so you can pretty much plant these no matter where you live. But one of the secrets to growing nice big onions is spacing them about two to three inches apart. If you space them any closer, they have a hard time bulbing up because then they'll compete for water, nutrients, and sunlight. Remember how I told you um, the more leaves the onion has on it, the larger the bulbs will get. They have to compete for all those things. You're not gonna have very many leaves and then you won't have very good bulbs. So we're just popping these in here. Remember not too deep because that can also affect the bulbing. And these are looking good. We love how the fresh onion flavor tastes on our food. And you can harvest these as you use them, which is really nice. They'll just keep really well right in the soil until you need them. So these will be ready sometime early this summer, which will be really nice for our barbecue nights. Here I'm going to separate these little onions. You can see these are, these are a little bit smaller seedlings. No worries about that. When you first plant them, they tend to kind of flop over. And then once they get over their transplant shock, they'll perk up and start growing. Next, I'm gonna plant some of the Tropia long onions, which are actually an intermediate day onion. One of my favorites. They're really, really a beautiful onion, super tasty, a little bit more mild of a flavor. I'm just gonna plant them in the same way. A couple inches apart, pull apart the roots. These are actually a purple onion they're really beautiful on the grill, and I like to eat them grilled, just plain as an onion, not even chopped up. Just super delicious. You do want to plant your onions in raised beds or containers in full sun, because the more sun they have, the larger the bulbs will be. And if you waited too long to start your onion seeds, definitely you want to plant some bunching onions. They're much quicker to grow and you can plant seeds right in your garden bed or you can plant little seed starts like I have here that are about eight weeks old. So I'm just gonna separate them and they actually like to grow in bunches. And these are more like the little green onions. Super mild flavor, super tasty in your food, very easy to, to grow, very easy to use. And I'm just popping about, oh, let's separate it to about three or four seedlings in each little bunch in the same way I planted the other ones. So if you plunge your onions too close together, just go ahead and thin them out and you should see a really big burst of growth in no time. You can see here that I still have plenty of onion seedlings left to plant in my garden. One of the things I love about growing onions is you don't have to have a dedicated raised bed or container just for your onions. You can actually pop these in between some of your other plants so they take up less space. So you're really maximizing the use of the space in your garden. Now, one of the next secrets of growing large onion bulbs is all in the watering and fertilizing. I like to fertilize them once at the beginning of the season with a liquid fertilizer using the Vermistera Vitality, which is great for onions particularly because it has a natural growth root hormone, which really helps those onion roots grow and develop nice bulbs. So I'm just going to put a couple of squirts here in my water bottle. And then because onions have such shallow roots, you really do need to keep the top two or three inches of the soil nice and moist. If they dry out, their growth will be stunted and they're really not going to develop well. So they really don't need a super deep soaking. A nice little drenching right at the roots, but do make sure they get nice consistent watering throughout the season. 
you're gonna have a tough time growing big onion bulbs. Now I like to back off on the watering once the onion leaves mature and grow and start to fall over because that's an indication that the bulbs are maturing and you wanna avoid rot issues. Now I also fertilize the soil when I plant it by adding the compost and the granular fertilizer and that will feed my onions over the growing season. The last secret I wanna to share today about growing big onions in your garden is to control the weeds. Because onions have shallow roots, when there's weeds growing, they'll compete for the water and the nutrients. So mulching really helps cut down on the weeds, but you do wanna make sure you pull the weeds out as soon as you see them growing. Just pull them out very, very carefully so you don't disturb the onion roots. Now here I'm just mulching around the base of my onions with a couple inches of shredded straw. You do want to kind of spread the mulch away from the onion root itself so it doesn't cover the root or the bulb and then you'll have problems with your onions bulbing up. So by mulching the soil it will help suppress the weeds. You can also use shredded leaves if you have those. It's a good free resource. But this is a nice good clean shredded straw which works really well too for also keeping the soil moist so your onions don't dry out. By controlling the weeds in your onion bed, the onions will have all the nutrients that they need to grow nice and strong and grow nice big bulbs for you. Leave a comment, let me know what type of onions you're growing. They're such a delicious vegetable to have in your garden grocery store. Head over to CaliKimGardenHome.com, grab a Smart Pots Little Shorty in an onion seed collection and get your onions planted. And while you're there, check out our new garden subscription box. You can get $3 off with the code Kelly Kim Subbox. It's a really fun way to grow your groceries. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next video.